Jewish film, and there was always there's always that remake buzz of people grumbling, oh, why do they have to remake the film? But you have to step back and realize that Let the Right One In was actually based on a Swedish book. So this is just another adaptation, essentially, of a book. No one goes, oh, they're making Romeo and Juliet again, another remake. But it's an adaptation. Can you talk about how you first became involved in what attracted you to well, the project? Well, I mean, I, I, the thing I saw first was the movie. And um, what happened was, I, it was a, almost a year before the movie came out in the United States. I had just finished Cloverfield. It was January 2008. And I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do next. And I, there was a personal project that I had written um, that I really, really wanted to make, um, which didn't have a big genre sort of aspect to it. So it was kind of a challenging film to make. And I was trying to make it before Cloverfield. And then we actually had a cast, and Amy Watts was going to be in it. But then the schedules kind of didn't work, and she ended up having to drop out. And I ended up going doing Cloverfield and sort of going on that whole crazy sort of detour, which was amazing. And I loved doing it. And then this time out, I thought, okay, well, I'm going to do uh, that movie again, which is called, it's called The Invisible Woman, and she's not actually invisible. But um, in any case, I was about to do that, and I decided I would try and find a distributor in the United States, and I met with Overture. And they read the script, they loved the script, and they said, you know, this is a, a beautifully written script, but it's, it's a little challenging right now, because that was the moment when the independent film industry started to contract, and a lot of really great distributors are no longer really with us. I mean, Paramount Vantage and all kinds of distributors. In fact, e even Overture, this is now really one of the last films from Overture, and Relativity Media is now taken over, and they'll be doing a lot of films with the people from Overture. But essentially, Overture now is gone. And so it was sort of a difficult time, and they said, look, this is too challenging for us, um, but we love Cloverfield, we love the writing in this, we'd love to do something with you, and we're pursuing the rights um, for a remake of a Swedish film and you should check it out, maybe you'd like to do it. We don't have the rights, but we'd like to show you the film. And I, I was like, well, I don't know if I want to do a remake, I'm trying to do you know, this film of mine, which is very personal. And I, they said, well, just watch it and see what you think. And I watched the movie.